This is Personal SEO teaches how to add your business to Google, to Apple Maps. Um, this is one of those weird ones where um, most companies cannot do this for you, nor do you want them to do it for you. And that's due to the fact that um, they will own uh, your listing and we pride ourselves that our clients own everything. So um, what you need to do is create an Apple ID if you do not already have one. If you have an Apple device, any Apple device, you have an Apple ID, so use that to sign in. If you don't have one, you can hit create an Apple ID and go through the creation process. I'm not gonna walk you through that. It's just verifying your information multiple times and then going in from there. Um, one warning I will say is that the timeout of creating an Apple Maps account is relatively large, um, short. So you kind of want to get everything prepared beforehand, and I will try and help you out with that. If you watch the whole video, you'll be prepared. Um, <clears throat> one of the things that you would do prior to doing anything would be going to your Google My Business page and making sure that this information is correct here first. So don't set up a uh, Apple Maps account app before you set up a Google My Business account. You would do a Google My Business account first, and that's because Apple will automatically find that account and start pulling in information. So on a secondary screen or a different tab, I suggest having your Google um, My Business account open so that you can verify all of the information here. Um, make sure that you have a, a description. Um, make sure you um, the phone number is correct. Make sure you have hours. Uh, most people, uh, 24 hours is not a reality. So don't just leave the default 24 hours in Google My Business. Make sure you have pictures, a logo, and that your account here is working. Um, that account actually needs a description that was missing, but um, we can add that later. Um, so once you're logged in to your Apple ID by going to appleid.apple.com, you can then go to businessconnect.com apple.com and that will take you to the business page and then just all you have to do is refresh and it will automatically sign you in or if you know your apple id and password you can go directly to businessconnect.apple.com and start listing your business um, now once you are here um, you'll see all the businesses listed typically what i want is just your business and not anyone else's or if you have multiple locations then you can add the location but i'm just going to hit add and i'm going to add a single location Okay, and then <clears throat> this is where it automatically connects to Google My Business. So I'm just going to type in the title of the location name, and it, it didn't find it. So now I'm going to click that information. And so there we go. Um, and it randomly puts a dot. Don't worry about the map. <laughs> when you start typing in, so As, as it filters down to your correct address, go ahead and click on it. Now the map and everything will move. It'll automatically fill out the rest of the information and you still wanna verify the information. Make sure it's on Water Street. Make sure the street number is correct. Make sure the zip code is correct. Just verify the information. And then once that's done, then click next. You can zoom out to see your location and to see if it's correct. And in this circumstance it is. Okay, and then it's gonna ask you for some information. Now, this is one of the big differences in Google My Business versus Apple is that the categories are going to be different. Um, you can always come back and edit your categories, but they're not the same list of categories and you have to select what they have available. So if I type in counselor, um, I only get mental health services. I don't get counselors, or, you know what I mean? So just click on the one that most represents your business and go from there. If you have a secondary, then go ahead and fill that in. So for example, if you are a uh, window manufacturer and you do window replacements, then you would have them both. If you are a Tesla wrapping company, then you would do window tints and everything else listed here as well. Everything else just copy directly from your Google My Business account. Make sure that you type in your website. The, the whole goal here is not to have anything optional. Every Everything is filled out. There's nothing left blank. So then now we're going to click Next. OK, 
Okay, this <clears throat> automatically, I don't know if this is default or automatically pulled the hours in, uh, but adjust the hours, add hours if you need to. Why did it start all over? Hey, it did a weird erase everything for some reason. When you get to this page, I had to redo everything. It only takes a couple of seconds, but it's kind of annoying. Um, when you get to this, um, you're not adding an existing business, you're doing a new business. There's the business name, and then you're clicking next. If everything goes all right, we'll go to the next page. Okay, now it's uh, to get verified. Verify your business and location by providing an official document, lease, insurance. Um, a verification can take up to uh, five business days. So um, the verification process is the same everywhere else. So uh, find this document, scan it, and then upload it here. Um, sometimes we could do a text. So I'm going to hit skip right now, and then you'll see the business listed, um, and it will be completely unverified for now. Um, then you can click on it. You could uh, see the listing and do verification. The last time I did this with the other company, it was a um, phone call, which is typically what I want. Um, and now that we've gone through this and it's still not verified, but we want to add a logo, um, you can only do that after your listing is verified. So again, I'm going to click verify now and see if it goes through the text process. And it's not, it's going to require a utility bill or <clears throat> any bill that shows the license. I mean, the business name and address is really all they're looking for. Um, so once you upload that, then go back in here, go back to your locations. Sorry, I'm looking for it back button I can't find it <clears throat> go back to your locations click on this again um, get verified upload your logo it needs to be 1024 by 1024 that's the logo that needs to be and other than that <clears throat> that's pretty much it and then you'll be uh, um, listed on uh, Apple Maps the, again you have to for the best reasons for local seo you'd want to match your google my business across the board so make sure you start with google my business create it do everything that you should do there and then copy all of the information here do not start here and go there go the other way around it always starts with google my business first if you have any questions let me know and thank you for watching this is personal seo teaches how to add your business to apple maps